What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Slime Rancher. My name is Splattercat. Super stoked to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. And actually, we're going to take a look around the map and see if there's anything else that we can add in. There's a few more adventures to be had, but I need to check my crops first because we're going to try and feed the phosphor slime that hides in that cave. It's off to the left. I don't think we're going to get anything major out of him and or her. I haven't checked its genital configuration. It seemed like a weird way to open a relationship with that slime. I... Hey, how's it going? What sex are you? You know, it's, it's a weird way to open a conversation. It's not one that I would prefer. It puts us on a bit of an uneven keel, and so I figured I would stay away from that as an option. But for right now, we do have a whole bunch of heartbeats available. Let's grab those. We're going to need those to feed some of our rock slimes and whatnot later on. The pogo fruits are going to be increasingly important as well because we're going to need at least like 30 or 40 of these to get the job done when it comes to feeding our dear, dear friend in the cave. That's what we do around here. That's how you show your affection at the nerd castle is you feed your friend after putting them inside of a cave. It's it's a weird ritual, but it's one that I think we should uphold just in the name of tradition. For tradition's sake, I think we should focus on it. Oh, I was flying so high too. I was so excited about my prospects as a flight-related human being. Ah, oh, well, what are you going to do? Can I get on top of this? Oh, it doesn't count as a surface. That's okay, though, because the honey slimes are all friendly. Especially with each other. As you can tell, they're doing some kind of weird Super Mario World stacking thing. In order, and hopefully Yoshi doesn't come by and start eating its little segments off the bottom one by one. Then we would really have troubles. Then we would really have troubles. In today's episode, not a whole lot going on. We basically reached the end of the content that's available for right now. This is one of those games that I'm almost a little bit disappointed that I played it right now. And let me finish my sentence first. Let me finish my sentence. Can I store water in here? I cannot. I was gonna. I thought it'd be cool if I could store water inside of there, but I figured it probably wasn't gonna happen like that. Let me finish my thought here. So it's a little bit disappointing because I want more from this game, like right now. Like I want to play this like all day, every day, and just veg out and sandbox mode out to where I don't even pay attention for like a week and I just lose track of my life and I grow like a weird little half man beard. And when I go to the store, people look at me as though I'm very slovenly. That's the sort of thing that I personally would do with this game. If it was fully released right now. I want 1.0 very, very, very badly. Still, it doesn't look like they connected that landmass over there. Maybe they connected this one, although I wouldn't hold your breath on it. In all honesty, the game is being developed by, like, one guy. And so, I would assume that content updates... There's already stuff in the game files for some updated content, in case you were wondering. Like, some of the new types of slimes are already in there. There's a whole bunch of stuff like that. However... Yeah, I don't see anything off that way. I'm, it's a little bit interesting. I wanted to, uh, let's... I want to know what that clipping is, right? Like, it shows something right there, but when I got up on the edge of the map and I walked over there, it disappears. I think it's my farms. Yeah, it's got to be my farms. It looks like those are my farm plots. Let's go back over... Actually, I don't think I need to go that way right now. We'll go this way right now. We'll go this way right now. I promise it's going to be okay. We've got, like, some aquatic-looking stone in there. Oh, those are meteors as well. If you take a look at them, they got the little, I don't know, the little bolide pockmarks or whatever from other things running into them at high, high speeds. I think I can fly over here. I've got more than enough jetpack. Yep. My jetpack be booming right now. There's another tree over here? I never realized there's another tree over there. Is that for those cube fruits, or is it for... Hmm. I don't think it's for that. All right, we got the pogo fruits out of here. I think 50 should be enough. Is it just me, or does that look kind of like a castle over there? I know it's Columnar joining, but it's also got, like, a vague castle -y feel to it. Like, I'm going to go over there, and all the slimes are going to be like, No! And they're all going to be, like, hanging out behind the walls like, Fire! That's how I imagine their voices would sound in my head, and they're going to fire arrows at us. or going to be rolling around just like, No! Please don't shoot arrows at me! That's how I beg for my life from arrow death. I just, I wanted to keep you in the loop. I didn't know if you were aware of all the different emotes that I have. I've been doing this for a long time, but I'm never quite sure if I've been doing it long enough to explain the things that are going on in my head. And honestly, I don't even know if it'll help if I did. God, what a terrible day today. Today has just been the worst in my real life. Not like in my internet life. YouTube's fine. Everything's cool. Wouldn't worry about it. But oh my God, like in my, in my like real life outside of YouTube, it's like, man, today sucks. Today has not been a good day, and I'm fighting through it. That's the important. You want to be fed? All right, well, I'm going to feed you. Keep getting bigger and glowing. What are you going to give me if I feed you this much? Because I'm letting you know, you just called in a pretty big loan. Wow. 
That thing ate 50 pogo fruits. Also, there's a crate over here. Is there anything inside of it? Yeah, I mean, there was a cat inside of it, and while normally that would be good enough for me, don't think I can be persuaded to care about the fact that there's cats inside of it right now. We may have to go get some more food. I didn't think it was going to take more than 50. I think the last two only took, I don't know, like 30 or so? Maybe I did feed it 50, and I just didn't realize that I had given it that much. I have no idea. These pogo fruits appear to be quite dry and desiccated at the moment. I don't think that phosphor slime's going to make it if I don't put him inside my vat pack, so... Yeah, this looks like it's still closed off. That's perfectly fine. Whatever. I fire you into the sun, the thing you are allergic to. I'm burning! That didn't work out as well as I had hoped it would, but it was still pretty entertaining. It was still something that I'm glad that I did, even if it served no function. Every now and again, you just gotta have fun and do something goofy. That's like 80% of what I do here on YouTube, is just do something goofy every- This looks like stairs over here, and so I wanna look. There we go, so now we're up on the edges. What is this back here? Oh, that's gonna be that little tip where... Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be the tip where all of the tabby slimes are hanging out with the other little guys. I don't see anything over here that's really gonna help me too much. What's that on the ground right there? Is that a tabby plort? It's gotta be a tabby plort, but it looks spheroidal. Oh man, he ate it already. I don't think I've checked this side of the map right here. Like, you know when you go through? I checked that side like eight times, but I don't think I checked this side for caves or anything like that. So I'm gonna go take a look. I'm hoping and I'm grasping at this point. If there's nothing here, I'm not gonna like cry about it. But I just like to know. I just wanna know! Hmm. This side actually seems to be fairly devoid. It's very, very flat, very, very smooth. Some people are into that. I prefer it a little bit rougher. I like things to be of sort of like a grated texture. I don't know, like the top of a cheese grater. Things that are rough that you can run your fingers across and just be like, oh, that's nice. Nothing on that side neither. Oh, man. I'm trying so hard to look for adventures right now, and I'm just coming up wanting. It's unfortunate. It's very, very unfortunate. So instead, we're going to go over to this ruined place right now. And just see what happens over there. We got plenty of time to fiddle around with other stuff, so it's not like anything is going anywhere. We've already seen the vast expanse of what is available. I think I can jetpack over there. Although that might not be. Did they take out. Hmm. There used to be ruins around somewhere, wasn't there? But this is the path that leads over to the jungle. Maybe it was on the opposite side of that. I don't know if I can actually make this jump, but I'm going to try. That was a pretty impressive jump. I would accept him on the Olympic Committee. I don't know if I'm going to make that over there, but I'm going to try. Hey, we made it. Huzzah. Yay for me. Let's take a look around the upper reaches of this location and see if there's anything out here we want. I gotta let my jetpack charge up for just a second, though, because it is looking exasperated and just out of fuel. But yeah, real life has just been meh lately. It's been bad. Like, I've been soaking myself into YouTube just to avoid truths. Just to avoid the truthiness that's waiting for me outside. You know, sometimes, like, when you don't want to deal with, like, real-world problems, you just, like, sink into, like, an MMO or something and you just, like, stop paying attention to it. I've been doing that super hardcore in the last couple of days, just like, nope. It's like vegging out, pretending like things aren't happening. What's on this little thing over here? Is there anything? Is this even supposed to be here right now? Or is it just like... I think the music changed. I'm not sure, though. I haven't really been paying attention to the soundtrack that well. I don't see anything back here. It'd be super de duper de cool if, like, over time you upgraded this. And, like, it added on new things and then eventually it teleported you to a new island that had even more challenging slimes or something. I don't know. The ruins seem sort of foreboding. Like, they imply, like, there's something coming. I don't really know what else to say about it other than that. I don't see anything down and in here. In fact, the fat... Ooh, what's in here? Nothing. Just, like, random wall cracks and stuff. That vine texture right there reminds me of the texture that they used to use in Wolfenstein to block walls, like, in Act 2. I don't know if you guys ever played, like, the Unlocked... Most people I talk to, you'd be surprised, never actually played, like, full Wolfenstein. They just had, like, the shareware version. And that's cool. Like, you can have the shareware version. It doesn't bother me at all. But I had, like, the full version. It was the only computer game that I had. When my dad first got his Pentium, he knew I wouldn't leave him alone. 
until he took me to the store. I bought it with my allowance. But anyways, what's that right there? Hello, what are you? Oh, it's the little cave that leads. Oh, yeah, it's under construction then. I had forgotten that there was a gate that led it. Oh, man. Did I just do something bad? I think I did something bad. I done something bad. And now we need to recover from it. Can I get to the second lair? Perfect. Yeah, I've been burying my head in the sand lately. Wouldn't recommend it, though. It's not a healthy way to deal with your problems. And normally I'm not like this. I don't know what's been going on lately. I've had a very real sense of trepidation about just about everything lately. It's been very, very odd. I've had to fight it. It's been difficult to get anything done. And so whereas I have been doing that, I would recommend that you not do that. Because it will ruin your lifeses. Go away. Go away, Tar. Nobody wants you here. You're the worst. You are awful. And you eat up all my puddle slimes, which are like the only thing that I still needed. I don't know how many more Tars I have to murder here. We got some pogo fruits and stuff, so that's pretty cool. I wish there was another puddle slime down and in here, though. I guess we could check one of the other little areas, but... My luck for puddle slimes has actually been fairly minimal. I think I found four or five of them, but keeping them alive has been a giant pain. Get out of here, kitty slime. Nobody got time for you. Ain't nobody got time for you. Hey. Will you guys stop with your shenanigans for once? I need you to like... Oh, man, that didn't work. Now he's just got the high ground. See, this is why Splattercat doesn't attempt to do anything intelligent ever, is because it always backfires on me, I think it's intelligent in the moment, and then, in retrospect, I find that it wasn't intelligent at all. It was a terrible, terrible plan. I thought the wall was coated in honey or something right there for a second. It was the honey wall. Back up off my slimes, you filthy tar. I think they will have to revisit that mechanic at some point. Just having the tar spawn whenever... Whenever they eat a plort that is not of the same type of their own after becoming a Larjo. I think that on maps where there's a lot of slime types, that's going to lead to there being a lot of tar. Just like, perpetually. And so I think that might need some streamlining. I'm, I'm just looking forward and I'm seeing problems on crowded maps where it's just going to be like, Whoo! It's going to be like a non-stop issue. I'm going to walk this out here because I don't think I've ever gotten up on the walls. I like the fact that you can get up on the walls. I hope they don't remove that as a feature. I like that you can get up on the walls and like walk around and look at stuff. That makes me happy. I like games that don't like focus on trapping you inside small geographic areas. I love it when games give you freedom and sort of enterprise to run around and do whatever you want. I don't see anything over here. There's something weird right there. I don't know what it is, but it's lit up by a torch. Might be worth looking at. Sounds like we got tar over here too. Unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. He is clearing out some of these, like, random slimes that are just going to be in the way, though. Maybe the tar are just trying to do us a favor. I'm going to shoot the... Yeah, I got you. Leave those slimes alone. They've done nothing to you. You used to be one of them, you cannyball. I'm going to go over the top of those because they seem like they want to hurt me. Their, their general visage is one of a scowl, which never... Which never seems to relent. These guys over here, I don't know if I want Phosphor Slimes right now. I would love to see that Gold Slime again. I know for a fact the Gold Slime is in the game because I've seen him. This place is going to be Atari hell in like five minutes. I don't think I want to be here anymore. We do, however, have a whole bunch of minty, fruity things over here, and I want them because they are useful to me. And then we should go through the log, which we have gone through so many times before. And I suppose... Just look for Puddle Slimes real fast. There's one. So I got the Puddle Slime. Suck that thing up real fast and see if there's anything inside of there that I want. Dropped a bunch of coinage. Don't think that's going to be helpful right now. Got a Puddle Plort right there. With our one Puddle Slime, I want to be kind of careful with him because... <gasps> there's two! I got to give him before he evolves. Because he will evolve. Awesome, we got two Puddle Slimes. That's so much better than just having one Puddle Slime. I got excited for a minute when I saw that pink one through the water. I thought a blue one had just spawned like right in front of me. I was about to be like, yes! All the luck in the universe is mine! It's a metal song that I'm working on. It's called All the Luck in the Universe is Mine. Yeah, I think we're just about out of content. I don't think there's too many more things for us to aspire to here. 
I will probably clean out the rock plurt cave. Yeah. I'll probably clean this out so that I can have a bigger, nicer space to work with. For right now, let me, I got pogo fruits. I got the mint mangoes. We got the beet on that. Oh, wow, I got 21 of those. That sounds fantastic. Grab a couple of rock plorts here. And yeah, we can hold 50 of these things. So you know what? There's no sense. If it's worth money, it's kind of like throwing dollar bills away. I feel guilty about it deep down inside of myself. I just don't feel good about wasting resources. I'm about to break this pen if you're wondering what I'm about to do. So I'm just trying to break this pen and I want to get all the resources out of it before we do anything else. 50 plorts. It's refreshing. The market prices. Come on, big money. Yeah, well, okay money. Money which is average. Money which I am not upset about. Let's unload all these guys. We're only getting nine per, but that's actually pretty good. That's not as bad as it could be. And then we'll throw all the rock plorts in here as well. See how much we can cash in for the day. I doubt we're going to make the 5,000 gold in one day achievement. I suppose I could try to do that. I could do like the achievement hunter thing and see if we could start nailing down some of these achievements. I do enjoy achievements. They do make me really, really happy. So 5,000 plorts at the plort market. We're nowhere near that. The salad bar. Three different veggie gardens on your ranch at the same time. Haven't worked on that either, but we'll work on that next, I guess. So with the puddle slimes, let me get all these plorts back very, very quickly. And I would like to demolish this one. Oh, it costs money to demolish. Okay. I think I'll probably just fire all these guys into the ocean. There we go. And I'm not going to do my... Oh, really? That drags them all over here. That's pretty awesome, actually. It looks like if you can resist them long enough... Ow. He'll headbutt you in the face as you try to throw him to his watery death. Now, I don't know if this actually kills the slimes. I might be melodramatic about it. They might It might be just an oceanic teleporter that takes them somewhere else. Some people will say that that's a bit of a stretch and that I dream, but you know what? There are worse things that can be said about me other than he is a dreamer. Last rock plort. I don't love you anymore, so into the ocean you go. That's what happens when you lose my love. It's a dangerous game. It's a dangerous game losing my love. All right, so with the puddle slimes, let's take a look at the Slimepedia one more time here and see if I can get this done properly. Puddle slimes, they are a rare species. They live in fresh water. They don't eat fruits, veggies, or meat. Instead, they absorb water into their bodies while they sit on the surface of a pool. Puddle slimes have to have fresh water to survive and will quickly evaporate if left on any other surface for too long. They don't really have much to fear, so they're not gonna hurt you. They just have to worry about fresh water I, they burst as soon as they touch anything other than fresh water. Okay, so Plortonomics. They're made from an incredible hydro compound known by chemists across the galaxy's H2O. This compound is used to create an absurdly expensive brand of bottled drinking water that is sought after by the elite back on Earth. While some people argue there's little difference in the taste between it and tap water, these people are seriously not getting it. So maybe we create a pond. Yes. I don't think I want the water level to go down. Someone said that if I suck water out of this, oh yeah, it does. Look at that, the water level goes down. Okay. Well, let's leave this little guy right here. We'll let him do his thing for a while. My guess is that over time, he's just gonna like drink water out of the pond. He should be good, right? What can I add to the pond? I can't add like a sprinkler or anything to constantly just spritz it up and make it a little nicer. Okay, I'm just going to put in the one for right now because I don't want to run the risk of losing him. I just can't lose you right now, Puddle Slime. If I lose you now, you'll take away not the biggest part of me, but one of the parts. Which part I haven't really decided, but I will lose a part of me. There are some parts I would like to lose before others, but that's not really my call. Now, is it Puddle Slime? Is it? Is it Puddle Slime? Well, he looks like he's okay. He still looks happy to me. We'll give him a little bit of alone time. Can I suck the water out of the pond that's in the cave over here? If I can suck the water out of the pond in the cave over here, that's a really, really long sentence that I don't like saying. If I can get water from this cave, it will save me a bunch of trouble later on. 
Oh, that's not even water down in here. Oh. Well, never mind then. I guess I just won't worry about it. Still got a couple of slime things in here, but I think I'm just going to demolish them. And then what I'll do with these is I'm going to turn them into more chicken coops. And I'll put the Vitamizer on it. We'll throw some spring grass on it. And then high walls, I guess, for the chickens. I don't know why the chickens need high walls. I don't think they're planning on rebellion or running away or anything like that. But just in case it does go down like that, I figured... Give it a try. Water plort, are you still... Oh, good. He's still over here. I wonder when he's going to shit for me. I know it sounds like an odd thing to ask, but it's all that I really desire from is for him to shit for me so that I can then forth make tons of money from him. Extra chickens appear to done got out. It looks like we can actually put in a tall chicken cage on all of these. I think they might have added that high walls thing for the chickens. No, I added it on this one, so maybe not. How many roostros do I have over here? I just need one roostro and one hen to get moving in this coop on this side. They should be okay. The chickens lasted a really, really long time inside the cave without sunlight. And they have our handy-dandy vitamizers. So what are we worried about here? What are we worried about? I would say that the rest of these are probably best served as gardens. So, while we've got the garden available... We'll go with the nutrient soil, we'll go with the sprinklers, and we'll go with the scare slimes, as always. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Perfect. And then we'll go through, and I think I'll probably actually, do I want to do a coop? Another chicken coop might be more helpful. Let me demolish this. we got plenty of money. Uh, I'm really not worried about the cash. We'll go with another chicken coop over here. I'd like to expand my chicken farming operation. So we've got like this big meat production thing going on. I like chickens too. Chickens are pretty awesome when they're not biting me, pecking me, or otherwise being super grouchy and grumpy. I think that leaves us at the end of our time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Slime Rancher. I will see you all in future episodes. Not sure how much longer we're going to keep it rocking. Just be aware that it might... It might take a siesta until they update us with a bit more content. However, until then, I'll be hanging out here having a good time. I'll see you later. Hi to everybody.